All right, guys, so I hope you're doing well today. There was actually some footage that I had right here, but when I was showing it, because we were getting more rain this past weekend, I wasn't paying attention. And when I turned the camera into the screen or the, the door to look at all of the downpour that we were getting, I didn't notice that the camera focused on the screen and not the rain. So the whole thing was blurry and it was just not good. Totally forgot there was a screen there at first. First of all, I'm gonna go through some stuff for what, what's what been happening this week and what I've been through, or what I've been working on project-wise. And then I have some footage from uh, actually today because today is the sixth Thursday. Um, but the stuff that I've been working on has been throughout the week. So I'm gonna go through this and then I'll show you the footage from the sixth from earlier today when I got home from work and then we'll end the video. So first off, been going through my financial situation on paper just figuring out what I could actually do it's taken a good amount of math and a lot of thinking and a lot of listening to the soundtrack of Moana because it's soothing to me that's manly right after all that basically I'm about one and a half one maybe one and a half checks away uh, work checks away from being completely done with roughly a three percent down payment for a house i'm super pumped super excited can't wait that much closer to getting a house i'm so excited the rest of the time i'm not gonna jump the gun i'm not gonna jump the gun and looking for a house i'm not gonna uh overstep my boundaries with with uh oh i got the money i should start looking now no i'm not gonna rush anything the market isn't a good time right now i'm gonna wait until the end of december like i planned maybe a little sooner than that but I'm not gonna jump the gun right now. It's just not a good decision, and it wouldn't be smart for me. So in the meantime, I have school coming up next week, I, or next month. I have to start paying back my student loans. That's cool. I can start putting money into that. I can then start putting a little bit of change here and there for furniture, because as of right now, the only furniture I have for my house is in my room. I don't have that much. Really don't, now that I think about it. Oh, that's kind of sad. My parents, Thankfully, uh, bless their hearts, they gave me, uh, or they are going to give me a couch, which my plan is to get a two-bedroom house. The second bedroom I want to turn into an office slash vlogging streaming room, mostly vlogging because I really don't stream anymore. Um, but I can have a couch and I can do like say mail openings or uh, um, unboxing videos or Anything where I can just lounge on the couch with friends or myself and just chat with the camera. That whole thing. Uh, it's a really nice couch. Well, newer. It's newer. Uh, but they want to go my route too and they want to get a sectional for the living room. So, <laughs> so I'm going to definitely be putting money into a sectional too because it's just really nice to have that long L couch where you could just come home, plop down on it after a long day of work and just relax so comfy i don't have a dining room table i don't have chairs i don't have shelving units i don't have an entertainment center for a tv i have one right now but it's this corner one right here and of course we had to get a bed for jack in my room that's that little gray box in front of the entertainment center because he has very strong anxiety we think when they when the humane society got him he was very young he was only a few weeks old at the time uh, separated from his mom and something traumatic had to have happened. If it wasn't that, it was getting caught in a storm or the trap or whatever. But he has very, very high anxiety issues. Follows us around constantly, constantly cleaning himself. Cats like to clean themselves, but he likes to clean himself a lot. So, um, and whenever there's a storm, whenever there's lightning or fireworks, he runs to the safest place possible he hugs the ground as low as he can get and he books it right for it maybe the back of the couch we uh set up a nice little area underneath the cupboard or in the in the cabinet of the bathroom with a nice little um a bed in there for him so i mean it's nice and dark and confined and he loves he lo loves it in there so he just books it for that too if that's a, a, a an option so we had to get a bed for him up here going back to the whole money issue thing school's coming up I got furniture and whatever spare money I have after those two things I'm gonna be putting a little bit more and more into the down payment 
to help make the house more affordable. It's taken a bunch of saving. My arm is getting tired. It's taken a bunch of saving, but it paid off and I'm very happy. I'm very happy with it. Can't wait, super excited. And one other thing I wanted to talk about, it's more of a question for you guys too. It sounds kind of depressing when I say I have life goals for video games because that sounds really, really, really sad and that I don't have a life, but I do have a life. Just one of the things that I like to do in life is play games. Speak of which, Hey buddy, what you doing? Just lounging around. So one of the things I like to do is whenever there's a game that I really get into, I feel like I want to complete it 100%. Or there's stuff I want to do in the game as like a life complete, like a, a life goal type of thing, but in a video game. So do you guys have any of those? Do you guys have any games where you have a life goal to do something in that game? For instance, Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. I want to complete the game, I want to collect every card, which I just learned after contacting Konami directly, it's basically impossible. There are cards in there you can't obtain, and the only way to get them is by fusing, 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 fusing cards in the game to get them. Completing Pokédexes in various generations of Pokémon, which I've only, I've already done like three, two or three. Skyrim, complete Skyrim, complete Stardew Valley. It's just, I, I'm going through games, as I'm going through all my games now in my backlog, I'm figuring out games that I want to add to this list. So if you have any games that you want to complete or do something in that's kind of an achievement for you, let me know in the comment section down below. Alright, so on to the footage from earlier today. Hey guys, so it is now Thursday, home from work. It was a beautiful day out. I think we hit about 68 or 69 degrees with a really low humidity. Absolutely perfect. I got a lot of work done out in the field. It was awesome. And when I mean field, I actually mean like going out to property. As of right now, same thing. You can, I mean, people are riding their motorcycles out. The hummingbirds are going crazy behind me. We got a little hummingbird feeder. You can, it's this one. I got a soda too, Dr. Pepper. It's this one right here. Oh, hummingbird. It's this one right here. We got it uh, with sugar and water. Basically like the easiest thing to make and the hummingbirds around here love it. Absolutely love it. Uh, so we got that filled. I've been watching the hummingbirds go uh, in and out for the last, I don't know, half hour. Just been going crazy for it. Here, I'll give you a little close up of the bird feeder real quick. Yeah, it's basically just, um, it goes into the bottom. You just tip it upside down, unscrew the bottom, and then put in whatever liquid you're putting in it. Um, oh, there's a hummingbird and it's basically just water and sugar. We have two of them that have been uh, coming around here <clears throat> quite often. There they are, there's both of them. All right, so besides having a fantastic day, right now it is like 60 degrees out. Beautiful. If it could be like this all year round, I would be completely happy. I'd be content. I wouldn't even need snow or fall. I could just live like this all year round. And now to end the video. I want to thank you guys so much for stopping by. I'm having a blast putting these out. I'm um, trying to pump them out quicker and quicker and quicker. It's just a little bit of a pain when I'm trying to find stuff to film. So bear with me for the time being. But yeah, I want to thank you guys for stopping by. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't. Make sure to share the video. More shared is the better. But I will see you guys next time. Thank you for stopping by and have a good one.